For the first time since 2019, car brand websites in Europe are seeing their audience numbers return to pre-pandemic levels, thanks to increased marketing investment, better websites, and higher consumer demand. We know this thanks to the Sofa3 Edatech change partnerships of more than 20 auto brands across the big five European markets. Edatech change benchmark digital performance to industry average while providing unique insights into today's car buyers. A closer look at the data revealed that those extra visitors are giving less and less of their time to car brands online. With all the headlines KPIs for engagement such as dwell time, page views per visit and bounce rate heading in the wrong direction. It is not a new trend, and we know that as smartphone use increases, so engagement goes down. But the continued growth in mobile is surprising. Over the past 12 months, smartphones accounted for 66% of all traffic to EU5 auto websites, up from just 32% in 2014, with Spain seeing the highest proportion at 77%. Germany is the lowest at 55% and the UK, Italy and France in the middle at between 60 and 65%, which means there is a lot of room for growth. Of course, we know that low engagement is not always negative because a good website sometimes helps visitors to quickly find what they need. However, our work with premium publishers in the UK, independent reviews brands such as Parkers, Auto Express, and Whatcar, reveals much higher engagement on these content-rich sites, which points to the consumer need for trustworthy, high-quality content. An amazing 64% of sessions on car brand sites involve just one section of the site, and 85% include only two which represent a poor ROI for the millions of euros invested each year by the auto industry. The proportion of visitors who view a car model page, then configure and fill out lead form is very small, less than 0.1% on average. This is despite a 10% increase in marketing investment over the past 12 months, according to Nielsen. So how can you accelerate your progress to a better digital future? We would always recommend a deep dive into your Adobe or Google Analytics data to help determine good or bad. But the interesting thing about these top line numbers is a huge range of performance between brands, with best in class such as Mercedes in Germany or Tesla are performing the worst by five times. Auto brands need to be ever vigilant about the marketing mix too because traffic quality changes over time and engagement rates may not be what you would expect. For example, you might expect organic social traffic to be highly engaged, yet the average bounce rate is surprisingly high at more than 70%. Traffic from paid search is also less likely to bounce than that from organic search. Who would have thought that? We spent the past three years working with European car brands on their e-commerce rollouts and all of them have become more customer-centric as a result. With many postponing the transition to the agency retail model, however, it's important that the momentum is not lost and all brands should continue to find a way to be more transparent with pricing and improve the customer journey. Company culture is a key thing to get right, and we have helped some of Europe's leading brands to use data to reduce friction between different internal silos and improve efficiency. It is clear from our analysis that the online car buying journey has a long way to go before brands can genuinely claim to be direct to customer. We looked at a range of premium brands and compared the engagement performance to that of the car industry. Reassuringly, perhaps, there is not much difference in customer engagement between a car brand and, for example, a high-value travel or jewelry brand. But let's see how those premium players compare with everyday brands such as Amazon and Uber. As you can see, a low transaction value does not mean a second-rate customer experience. In fact, it means the opposite. This really matters because your customers are constantly being trained by their smartphone apps to expect better. If they get a great experience from buying a toothbrush costing two euros online, imagine what they might expect from a 30,000 euro purchase. We hope you find this analysis useful as you plan your auto digital strategy in the coming months. In our next video, we will take a deep dive into what we call transactional user journey, where a customer gets rewarded for their attention. For now, though, it's goodbye from all of us at Surface 3.